Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, thanks so much for stopping by today. Um, for today's video, I have for you a chit chat, get ready with me. We're going to try out some new makeup. Um, in the meantime, I'm also going to just kind of go over a few changes on my channel, some plans that I have um, to get through all these palettes that you guys have been seeing me haul over the months as well. Um, and whatnot. So if that sounds interesting to you, then why don't we go ahead and get started? All right, I have you guys all zoomed in now, so we will go ahead and get started. Let me pull my hair back. All right. Um, so I thought what I would do, because I know that you guys, and I've seen the comments, like I said, um, and I know I've mentioned in other videos that my work has just kind of been out of control. It's been it's been crazy, um, but it, that's just the nature of our business. It's this time of year, it was just a little crazier than I expected. So, anyways, I thought I'd go ahead and start getting ready, and then we can um, I'll just start discussing with you kind of what my plans are going forward uh, for the future of my channel. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, first thing I'm going to pop on is this. Um, Becca, what's it called? Becca Anti Fatigue Under Eye Primer. Hopefully, you can see that okay. And with this, I literally, it's blue, but like once you get it on your finger, it's clear. But I literally just go like this, dab a little bit underneath my eyes. Um, it's nice and cooling, and it kind of helps fill in those lines a little bit it's not making anything perfect and there's no color correction or anything but anyway so i'm just going to do that okay and then next up for my um primer i'm going to use the smashbox primerizer because it's just a great um moisturizing primer and it doesn't pill up on me or act weird with any of my other foundations so far that I've used. So it's reliable and I'm trying a new foundation today. So I want to make sure that whatever I put down hopefully doesn't cause any kind of disruption. Uh, we're going to be trying out this um, ColourPop Pretty Fresh um hyaluronic hydrating foundation now this one i picked up from ColourPop itself and this is shade fair 20n which i'm afraid might be too light so i ordered from ulta this uh light 60n and so that looks like it'll be a little too dark so i'm hoping if i mix the two together then they'll work all right and so for that i'm going to get my uh foundation palette and just put a pump of each one on there um that way and i've i haven't even actually seen any reviews on there so let's add in this other one there we go. and then i have a palette knife these I just get off of Amazon. They're super cheap. You can get them off of Wish, Alibaba, any kind of those type of sites. They're super cheap. You shouldn't have to pay a whole arm and a leg for these. Um, but then that way I can mix my foundation together here. And then, <clears throat> and then that way I can, you know, not make so much of a mess. All right, and um, we're also going to try a new brush today. I'm trying the Sigma F87 Edge Kabuki brush today. So, um, it's got plastic on it, it looks like. Yeah, take that off. And I'll continue to dip in here. And away you go. Let's see what this color match looks like now. We can always adjust if need be. All right, so while I am applying my foundation, I will discuss this. All right, so my plan, and this is a very ambitious plan, but it's also kind of part of my goal to uh, get me back to feeling like a human being just because with um, 
you know, the pandemic and being sick a lot. And then um, <laughs> all these storms in Texas, if you've been watching the news, you know, we were without internet, power, water, all that fun stuff for a while. Anyways, okay, back to the task at hand. So that looks really good. Wow. And the match, I think mixing those two shades together is just spot on. Um, so anyways, all that to be said, this is part of my, kind of my goal for myself to kind of get back to feeling like a human being again. Um, all I ever, I mean like, like this whole pandemic, I've just stayed in nothing but loungewear and pajamas or whatever, unless I'm leaving the house because I'm working from home. So what's the point in getting dressed, right? Uh, well, for me, the point at this, I, I feel like my, my mental health is suffering because of it. Um, and I mean, I think we've all been through this roller coaster up and down, up and down through all of this. But like, this is another kind of um, time where I feel like my mental health is being challenged just a little bit more just because we had more thrown at us, you know, it is what it is. So I feel like if I do this and start playing and make up more and maybe get up and get ready every morning and actually put on a face of makeup like I'm going to work like I used to do every day um, and put on some kind of clothing. Uh, I'll probably still be loungewear. I'm probably not going to get all dressed up, but I'll put on some kind of clothing, you know, maybe some leggings and a, a nice looking t-shirt or something, nothing too frumpy. So, um, so that all to be said, my goal is to do 30 palettes in 35 days and then we'll reassess after this challenge or whatever is done. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to use, we're going to choose, I've, I've put um, already in this app. It's called uh, the Decide Now app and this is what it looks like right here. Make sure you're in focus. So that's what it looks like right there. And then if I go into the little settings thing right here, it shows me the list of, oh, I need to go in here. I gotta go in here. Okay, so this shows me the list. These are all the palettes, whoops. These are all the palettes that I purchased from like October to February timeframe. So it's more than 30. Yeah, so then on this video today, we'll actually pick out the 30 palettes that I'll be using over the next 35 days. So we'll use the app, we'll go through, and we'll choose each one. Um, I will, it gives you an option to deactivate it. I'll show you as we do it. So that way it'll, it'll show me which ones I'll, they'll be stored in here. Um, and then in the um, description of this video, I will list all of the palettes that were chosen today um, by the app. Now, um, when I'm doing my looks throughout these, these 35 days, um, they're not going to be in any particular order. I'm not going to go in palette order based on like how they were chosen here or whatever like that. I just find that that is going to be way too limiting. And I'll try to kind of, you know, I'll plan it out myself just to kind of see like if there's certain days that I really need to stick with neutrals or if I can just go all out and play with color the whole time or whatever the case may be. With that being said, since you'll know the 30 palettes that we have chosen, um, please feel free in the um, comment section below to request the palettes that you would like to see first, and I'll see if I can make that happen. I would most definitely like to make that happen if possible. Um, and I know that um, there are also two palettes that I have promised to, I think, to um, do reviews on for somebody so if those don't come up, those may be bonus palettes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, so with that being said, let's continue getting ready. Um, I'm going to use this uh, L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer right here. There, a little bit of brightness. Sorry, I'm supposed to be talking. Um, let's see. I will film the look every day. Um, doesn't mean it's going to be posted every day because during this um, challenge, I will still be filming other content. Um, this is just kind of my 
you know, like I said, getting back to being a human being. So I will still be posting other content, you know, new stuff will be coming out. I'll be reviewing new stuff, uh, doing, you know, whatever other, like maybe tag videos, other things. I'll be doing other content as well. Um, so the looks will be going up kind of as editing allows, um, because I'll want to be able to focus on my other content as well because I know that tutorials and all that aren't necessarily the most popular thing that people want to watch all the time so I need more um, I'll need more out there let's just put it that way um, so yeah so the looks will be uploaded as my editing schedule allows so you may be seeing you know more than one or two videos in a day uh, just because, you know, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it all goes. Um, and then, oh, sorry, this was my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush number F64. I really like this brush. It's a very, very, very nice brush. So, um, and I really liked this. Man, this got in the crevices of my nose. So good. I really did like the way this put on the foundation, so there we go. All right, um, so, and I will be posting, I'm going to attempt to post some of these on Instagram and some of them on YouTube, so they'll be kind of divided up, just so you know, um, keep an eye on Instagram and on YouTube for videos um, for with all these palettes. Oh, let's see. Am I missing anything? Uh, there are no discontinued palettes um, listed on this list as of today's date. So all of them, if you were to be interested in buying one of them, would be able to still go and purchase those. Now that's not saying they're not in sold out status, but they're not discontinued. They're going to be restocked is what I mean as of right now. Um, this is going to start today, February 20th, and I'm going to do my very best to have my kind of wrap up thoughts and all that um, video put together by March 31st. Um, so that's kind of my timeline. So February 20th through March 31st, this is what I'm working on. Um, there will be some surprise giveaways thrown in throughout this series so make sure to you know subscribe ring that notification bell so that you don't miss anything um, the giveaway could be on YouTube it could be on Instagram it may or may not be in the title so that's that, that that's kind of the rules and I'll put all the rules within the description too so that you guys hopefully understand what I'm trying to accomplish do this all right next up I have um, this Juno um, and Co uh, what do they call it Juno blur makeup setting powder I got mine in brightening so I want to see how bright it is because it's kind of a it's kind of a yellow base okay yeah it's I don't think it's too yellow I mean, that's what it's looking like on the brush. I think it's fine. Hold on, let me put more on there so you can see. That's what it looks like on the brush. I think it's fine. I think it's more translucent. I don't know how brightening it'll be on me, though. Yeah, that doesn't look very brightening on me. It's okay. It's just translucent then. So, it'll be brightening... Once I get that promised tan that I said I'm going to get this summer safely. Okay, so there's that. I like that. It seems to blur pretty well, actually. I like that. I will try it on my face in the future. But first I want to try this, um, this NYX High Glass Finishing Powder in the shade Light right here. All right, so we're going to set the rest of the face with this. I'm hoping it's kind of like, you know, like um, the Lancome Glowy Powder or the powders that Jaclyn Hill had put out that 
for some reason discontinued. I really hope she comes back out with those because I really do want to try them. Um, for that, I'm just going to go in with a uh, Ibby Beauty um, powder brush. And set my face. Oh yes, this is what I was hoping for. It's glowy, but it's not. Hold on, let me get a closer mirror before I start lying. But I think yes, it's glowy, but not like cakey looking. And Kind of reminds me, you know, kind of a little bit of hourglass, almost. It's kind of what I was trying to go for. Especially now that, and I'm going to use my hourglass. Again, no cancel culture with me. Still using my hourglass, and um, I had purchased hourglass over the holiday, too. Um, I don't know that I ever showed that, but anyways. Uh, but it's nice to have... Uh, drugstore options number one because hourglass is expensive as heck and it's also um, nice to support a brand that is interested in inclusivity I'll just leave it there. I'm going to use the, col the ColourPop Off Melrose collection. I've got the palette, I've got the two blushes and I've got a lip gloss um, we're going to bronze up this face. I want the Morphe G3, G5, G5, Morphe G5. I'm going to bronze my face up a little bit with this. Um, I did not mean to dig that hard in there. This is my uh, L'Oreal True Match L'Oreal Bronze It in the shade 01 Light. And I do have a little burn right here, if you see that right there. I burned myself with a curling iron the other day. It's healing up though. Just a teensy bit on my cheeks because I'm going to try both blushes. Okay. I like that a lot. Um, Alright, so... Let's go into our two blushes, shall we? The first one I have is called Juice Bar. And it looks like Juice Bar is kind of a, a I don't know, traditional kind of deeper pink. I don't know how to describe that. I'm terrible at describing, especially blush shades. And then this one is called Fashion District. This one is definitely more terracotta, more bronzy, which is part of the reason I wanted to not really bronze much. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in with this one on the lower part, and then we'll do this one on the higher part so we can kind of see both. So I'm going to need a more controlled blush brush. Okay. So, since this is kind of more almost of a contour, I'm going to use this one. This is an AOA Studio F14 brush. I'm going to use this one with the um, Fashion District. Here, let's peel this plastic off if I can find the thing. Ready? Woo, it's so pretty. So satisfying. All right. So we're going to dip in. Okay. Not too bad. And I'm just going to kind of stamp it just to see what we're working with. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty. So I am using this almost as my bronzer or contour to chisel out my cheekbone. I went a little too low right there, dang it. 
That's okay. When you go too low, you just take a power brush and fix it. All right. So next up, we're going to do juice bar. Let's see if I can take the plastic off of this one too. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! -hoo. All right. Juice bar. Now this one is um, shimmery. The other one was matte, pretty much matte. This one's like more of a satin. Oh, that's pretty. Mmm. Yes, please. I like that. I mean, it's not like it's a completely unique shade, but I like the the glow that it has to it. It's really pretty. That's going to be, this is going to be gorgeous in the spring, summer. Um, other things. So, uh, am I doing a no buy, low buy, anything like that? No, I'm not. I'm just going to be uh, focusing more on buying the newer items so that I can review them for you so that I can spend my money on it instead of you guys having to spend your money on it to find out if it's any good, right? Because that's what I do here. Okay, I think that's all the updates. Awesome, so let's finish, uh, let's finish off this face and then let's draw some palette, shall we? Um, so next up, we're gonna do a super simple look with this um, Off Melrose eyeshadow palette. All right, so um, the unit carton looks just like the, the palette. So here's what the palette looks like. Sorry, just making sure that the camera was still recording. Um, here is what the palette looks like. No mirror or anything, but I think that is really pretty. Hopefully y'all can see it. Yeah, there we go. Super pretty. So I'm gonna do just a really quick eye look. Nothing super duper spectacular because we need to get into drawing palettes, right? All right, so let's go into, um, what does that say? I can't even read it. Boutique. Let's go into boutique and put that in my crease. <clears throat> and for that, I'm using a Jessup tapered blending brush. That's what that looks like right there. And this is a uh, mat with um, glitter in it. Um, but of course, as with most times, the glitter is, you know, falling out or falling away, dusting away, so it won't be staying there. Okay, so I've got that all pretty much blended out. Now I need to deeper the outer edge, the outer corner, I mean. So with that, we're going to go in with uh, number 10 Latte. So it says right there, number 10 latte. That one right there. And it seems to be another matte with glitter in it. Uh, I'm gonna use a much smaller brush. Uh, for that, we're using a Lexi Mini uh, Tapered 121. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It's a matte with glitter in it. Okay, so anyways, I know over this you know well i've actually been in kind of a funk for the last couple of years i had some stuff you know health issues with me health issues with my husband and then on top of that i lost my father unexpectedly um so he actually um he actually took his own life there was absolutely no warning signs that any of us saw. Yeah, so that happened in 2019. So I thought 2020 was going to be better. And then we had a pandemic. So there you go. <laughs> this is the way it goes. So I've been kind of in a wellness, you know, funk for a while. Mental wellness. Um, you know, and I, I, I 
do talk to people. Um, I'm actually working on getting in with a therapist just because um, I think that not that was recommended by my doctor not just for um, for you know what I've been through but also to deal with stress and anxiety because I also have IBS and when I get too stressed or anxious it'll flare it up so um, there's two reasons for it. I think we're even. As much as we're gonna get. Okay. Hmm. What color do I want to use on the lid? So many pretty ones. Let's do. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go with Fairfax. I just can't help it. That duochrome. I can see purple and blue in there. Fairfax right there. That's going all over my lid. For that, I'm going to use a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush right here. And I will be wetting this. Oh, yes. Oh, very crumbly. That's a really pretty color. Okay, come on, spray. All right, let's see what this looks like. I think I <laughs> went way overboard here. If it's okay, I'll fix it when I'm not talking. Oh my gosh, you guys, that color is gorgeous. I don't know if it's showing the flip as well in camera hopefully hopefully it is wow that is a gorgeous shade okay so we're just going to do the reverse on the lower lash line i'm going to do um the dark shade first and then i'll go and i'll blend it out with that shade right there so let's just do that real quick find myself a nice little pencil brush this is a nabla and 303 there and then doing this I want to make sure to connect right there to kind of make it a little bit more cohesive so connect the outer corners oh you can't see sorry Okay, and then I'll go into that first transition shade, like I said, which is called uh, Boutique, this one right here, and blend it out with that. So I am praying for everyone out there that is still dealing with this weather and, you know, no power and busted pipes and all of that uh, we we were fortunate we did lose power and we did lose internet and all that but um, our power wasn't on for a soup wasn't off for a super long period of time and so fortunately we didn't have any pipes freeze but I'm telling you all over the Metroplex there are so many people that have so uh, much devastation from pipe damage, pipes, um, pipes bursting, or I don't know if the right term is really, but basically pipes bursting, yeah, right? Yeah, pipes bursting. Okay, so there we go. That is the eye look. I need to do my brows, I need to do my eyeliner. Um, nope, I need to do an inner, whatchamacallit, real quick. Let's do that. We're going to do an inner corner highlight. And highlight this brow bone. And actually blend out this brow bone, because I don't like the way it looks right now. Right here. Yeah, let's blend that out. That's looking a little, a little rough. Okay. There's that one. 
There's that one. That looks a lot better. Just kind of make sure I'm even out here as much as possible. And then, you know, if you feel like you're kind of a little out of control, just you should actually, I use the powder brush that I set under my eyes is actually a lot easier to use. Um, if I feel like I've gotten a little out of control out here, I just will take this. This is a Real Techniques um, setting brush. I love it. A lot of people use it for uh, highlighter too. It's a fantastic multitasking brush. But you see how I was able to just kind of diffuse that with this? Because it still had powder even on it from when I set under my eyes. So there we go. I was able to diffuse that because that was really harsh right there. I went a little overboard before, like I said. All right, so there's that. All right, so what else? Um, we can do lips when I come back. Um, I need an inner corner. So for that, do I want Angelino or do I want Trading Post? Trading Post looks very unique too. So let's do Trading Post right there. We're going to do that shade right there. It looks like it might have a flip as well. This is a Real Techniques accent brush, right? Yes, accent brush. I love how tiny. Oh, that's a very, very crumbly shade. Holy cow. <clears throat> Anyways, but this is what the brush looks like. Nice and um, compact. So I can really control where I put it down if I want to. Oh well, even with the brush sprayed. Oof. You see that? Like I think I got way too much on there. Yeah. Okay, that that looks a lot better. There we go. Wow, that was looking a little kicky there for a second. I think I just picked up way too much because it had chunked up. Like, I mean, it literally, there's literally little bitty chunks. <laughs> so I think I just put too much down. It was starting to look a little cakey right there. And I like to take mine down um, here a little bit to brighten up this area down below as well as up above. There we go. All right. Like I said, okay, I'm going to pop off camera, do these brows, these lashes. I'll come back and do the lip with you because that's part of the collection. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I have, um, um, let's see, I'll show y'all what I did off camera. I did the um, ColourPop Brow Boss in the shade uh, Dark Brown for my brows. So that's what I did there. Um, and then I used uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I'm just trying to use this up. It's almost empty. Um, I tight lined up here on the upper waterline with the um, L'Oreal Age Perfect Satin Glide Eyeliner. It tends to stay on my tight line pretty well and I like how creamy and smooth it is. Um, but on the waterline, to try to pull out some of that um, teal turquoise that's in that real pretty duochrome, so pretty, I used ColourPop Fastlane, which is kind of like a, kind of a teal color, kind of a teal green color. So I don't know if that's coming across on camera or not, hopefully, but that's there. And then I used um, L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. I'm just trying to use this up. I'm getting towards the end of it, I think. Um, so I use that on the bottom and upper lashes before I put on my lashes. The lashes that I use are used are from Alter Ego and the Style Celeb. Um, and they're pretty big, um, but they're really pretty. I really like them. Um, they went on pretty easy. 
I think I might have gotten some glue or cut it a little funny right there because it looks a little different there. So I'll just have to play with these a little bit. But they're very affordable and I think they're very pretty. So I'll definitely continue to give them a try. Um, so that was that. I think that's all I did off camera. So yeah, I left the lip. Um, and the highlighter because we didn't put a highlighter on <laughs> uh, for when I came back. So to highlight, I'm going to, and like I said, I have no powder um, highlights from ColourPop, believe it or not. I need to work on that. But I do have a few um, Super Shock ones. So we're going to use um, from the Disney Designer Collection, A Smile and a Song. Uh, That's what it looks like right here. It's kind of a golden highlight. Uh, maybe if I hold it back. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see. So we're going to use that. I like to use, if I can find the right brush. I forget it. We'll just use the tapered, Lexi tapered, whatchamacallit, brush again. Highlighting brush. Is that what this is? Yeah, tapered highlighter, number 522. That's very pretty. Can't believe we almost went without highlighter. Oh my gosh, it would have been a sin. No, I'm just kidding. That is a really pretty shade. I don't wear this enough. I thought it was too dark for me, but I don't think it's leaving a shadow. Definitely need to wear this more often. This is pretty. I like this. Let's just make everything shimmery and shiny now. Yes, please. Come on. You're not cute as well. Very nice. Alright, just make sure that's blended in nice. I really like that. I think that really brought the look together. Okay, and then now we're going to pick out a lip liner um, to use with this um, this gloss called Cross Street. Um, let's see how pigmented it is. So this is what it looks like. Let's swatch on the back of my hand. To see how opaque we are and it does not appear to be super opaque but I'll find something kind of with a similar tone um, this is lippy pencil ColourPop lippy pencil in Minuteman let's see oh perfect I like it so I'll line and fill in my lips with Minuteman and then I'll go over it with the Lex gloss I like it. Alright. Can you see? Um, and I always, I always overline my lips a little bit just to kind of hide the lines. Straight enough. Straight enough for me. Alright, so that was Minute Man. And now we're going on with uh, Cross Street Lux Lip Gloss. This is my first time trying um, the Lux Gloss, so I'm excited. Ooh, it smells good. Like a sweet candy. I don't know if all of them smell like that, but this one smells good. I'm 
so glad that they have a doe foot instead of that stupid brush that they put in the ultra glossy formula. Mm. That is pretty luxe. Kind of thick. A little bit. Not sticky. Reminds me a little bit of the Fenty Gloss Bombs. A little bit. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and test them. Next to each other. Or the, it definitely reminds me of the um, Maybelline Lifter. Their new um, glosses. But regardless, I think it's really pretty. I like it. Oh, and all right, let's do the lipstick trick. If you never knew this, here's a new trick. And then hopefully you won't get it all over your teeth. Hopefully. I still manage to. Because I'm a mess. Okay. I think I managed to get it off of uh, my teeth. So, there we go. So, there's the look. Um, did I have anything else to go over with? I'm trying to think. Um... Uh, I don't know if there's any more rules or any more things that pop up in my head about this challenge and how it's going. I'll just kind of keep y'all posted as it's going along. You know, it's not, I'm filming the videos as I'm going along. So I'll be able to update you and whatnot. Oh, well, duh, we need to draw the palettes. I knew we were forgetting something. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm back. So let's go ahead and pick out some palettes, shall we? Um, I am using an app called the Decide Now app. This is uh, what it looks like. It's got like a spin wheel. Um, and I put in a list. So all of those is the list of all the eyeshadow palettes that I've hauled between October 2020 and the middle of February. Um, the way it works is, like I said, there's the spin wheel. You'll, you'll click here to spin. Um, it'll choose for you and I'll show you. But to put the list in, there's, I don't know if you can see, there's a little uh, settings thing right there. You click on that little settings button right there. Okay. And then you click on the only list that's there. Can you see that? So you click on that list. And then you go up in the top right hand corner and you click on edit. But tracking my face click on edit okay and then it's going to change the list to where now there's like a little arrow right there so you click on that little arrow that will actually take you into the list and so that you can see I've input um, all of the palettes in there and I'll get it scrolling so you can see there's way more than that so there you go so there's all the palettes they're all in there Okay, um, to get back, I'm just going to hit cancel because I don't want to mess anything up because I spent a lot of time making that list. And then I'm going to push this little button right here. This is going to take me back to the wheel. There we go. Okay, now we're back to the wheel. So, uh, let's pick out 30 palettes, shall we? So, unfortunately, the two palettes that I had um, previously, I guess, uh, committed to doing looks with, and I really do want to do looks with them, so I'm adding those. 
unfortunately those weren't chosen <laughs> so um, those are going to be the Juvia's Place Wahala palette and the Tati, Be uh, Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 I think I got that right so I'm also adding those so there are actually 32 palettes instead of just 30 so just an FYI but that's okay I have ideas to make it to where I'll be able to manage to to make this work I think it'll be good so alrighty so that has it I have a screenshot of this now so that I can go back even though it's teeny tiny I can I can read it I can zoom in um, so yeah that's our 30 palettes guys my goodness 32 palettes I should say